Good morning. It's day 28. Yay! Um, <clears throat> so today is going to be my last day vlogging at the farmer's market. I'm bummed I didn't get to go the last two weeks, uh, but life was just a little too hectic. So um, we're going today. We are meeting and then walking, uh, maybe driving over. I have the thing that I put my sewing machine in. Um, that I'm gonna take to the farmer's market with me today because it's got wheels on the bottom of it and it's just like an open tray so we can put our stuff in there. We don't have to like carry it on our backs. So that might help, I don't know. Oh, my seats are laden down in the back because we're gonna have to stop at Lowe's today and get a topper for the new vanity in our bathroom. It's gonna be an exciting day. Probably full of eating out as well, so we'll see. Um, we get to see Hamilton tonight. I'm really excited. And I can't believe the whole 30 is almost over. It's been a little difficult eating out. I mean, mentally difficult. Not difficult to find things on the menu, though. You do have to ask a lot of questions. But mentally, it's been difficult for me to like wrap my head around eating out and spending that money when we've got perfectly good food at home that we can be cooking. So that's been a little difficult for me. But here's a to a good last Sunday on the official Whole30. Yay! So I'm gonna get this beautiful kale. I'm gonna try and make kale chips. So I was just talking to a girl and she said cook it on like 300 for 20, maybe 30 minutes and just a little bit of oil to make it crispy. Her mom did it with sweet potatoes and said she put them in the oven for like two hours on a low heat. So we're gonna try it this week. All right, this little thing is working out amazing. <laughs> Uh, we're getting some good shopping and I can't wait to show you the, like the biggest spaghetti squash that I think I've ever found. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's my little tote. And of course, one of the bags that I brought I thought was an empty bag, but it's the bag of stuff that needs to be returned. So I'm carrying around return items at the farmer's market. <laughs> and there's a whole section of the market I didn't even know existed. Look at that, it's all like foods and artisans. Super fun. So that was fun. Apparently Jake Gyllenhaal and Alicia Silverstone were both at the farmer's market. Uh, with, uh, not apparently, I totally saw them, so it was cool. You never would have recognized them though. All right, now it's time to go to Target and then Sprouts and get some bacon. Yay! All right, I had Target to grab a couple things and definitely calls for a cold brew Starbucks. Okay, so I'm at Sprouts, and the bacon I normally get isn't here, but there is a turkey bacon without added sugar, and this is the bacon that has the Whole30 approved logo on it, and then this is the turkey bacon that I found uh, without added sugar. I'm gonna have to get both. Mmm, and this is all the yumminess I got at the farmer's market. I can't wait to play with this kale. We're gonna make salad, and I'm gonna try and make kale chips. Some Brussels sprouts, grapes, those torpedo blush tomatoes, um, purple potatoes, sweet potato. Oh, the little koi looks so good. The biggest squash I have bought so far, some jicama, broccoli, um, some zucchini and yellow squash, an onion. These olives are so good and they're just packaged in water and garlic. Can't wait to use those blackberries. I'm gonna make a blackberry chia seed breakfast, and then uh, the guava. Yum! All right, it's 11 o'clock, um, and I'm just having breakfast. <laughs> Cheers! Mm, yummy egg cups. Now to help work in the bathroom. So the guys are off getting supplies to finish off the bathroom, and I'm going to work on the garden a little bit. Let me show you what my garden looks like. So this is hopefully going to be a lemon tree one day. I got this cutting from a friend. Um, it's been in there for a couple months, so it's nice and sturdy, which lets me know that the roots are growing, but um, it hasn't really shown any real growth. So there we go. Next is my dwarf banana. It's doing really good. I just rotated it so all the leaves are like looking for the sun. Here's one of my bell pepper plants. You can see a bell pepper right there. If I should pick it, will it's green or let it turn red? 
So the bell peppers come from these little flowers. So they're super cute. Here is the oops tomato plant. We're giving this one to our friend Genevieve. Ryan accidentally walked into our plant and this fell off. And so we're growing another plant and the tomatoes are gonna grow from those little blossoms there. This is my plumeria. Oh, it's looking so good. We've had this for almost two years and this is the first season it really started to flourish. I put it in a bigger pot and I think that has a lot to do with it. it looks like we're gonna get some plumeria flowers here in the next few days. Here we have our Cab Franc grape. Not doing so well, but still growing tall. Um, back here, I'm not exactly sure what this plant is. I got it this summer from a friend, um, and I'm not sure what it is. So I'm waiting for it to fruit so I can see what it is. And then here on the post, I have some chocolate mint. And here I have some basil. This doesn't look like it's doing too well, but we just ate it the other night. I did have hanging baskets. These were strawberries, but um, I think maybe I just didn't give them enough water and they dried out really, really fast. Over here's my other bell pepper. There's one that was green and is turning red. Back here I have guava growing. And then here is my original tomato plant. So there's a little tomato that needs to turn red. There were three little red tomatoes on it this week and I had to pick them real fast because they were gonna um, they were gonna go bad. So I had to pick them and eat them. I should have shared it with you guys. Over here, I just planted some succulents that we got at a wedding. Um, these green onions I got from the farmer's market and just chopped the green onion part off and planted it in my planter. There's a carrot back there from the farmer's market, so hopefully it's still growing. I had to cut the stalk because it was getting so long. And then over here, I just planted eight garlic bulbs. Oh, you can even see like it popping out already. There's a little garlic popping out. They say to plant it in the fall so you can have fresh garlic bulbs um, in the spring and summer. So we'll see. In California, it stays pretty warm and it doesn't freeze or get too cold. So it might just grow you around here. I don't know. We'll find out. What else should I plant? All right, lunchtime. Reheated chicken and asparagus for lunch. It smells so good. All right, out to lunch. Here's some juices that we got at Bloom. Kale and avocado salad with yeah. beef on the side. Yeah. How are you? So we ordered this roasted cauliflower, but it came with some kind of green sauce on it. But this is the steak and uh, spinach, so we're definitely having that. But we're looking into what is this? They are calling it a salsa verde on the cauliflower, so we'll see. And my sparkling water with lemon, yum. All right, so while we wait to figure out what we can eat because our dinner was cooked uh, with canola oil, uh, we're gonna have a fruit plate. Okay, so they ended up bringing us a steak cooked only with olive oil and then steamed green beans, which were very, very good, but I didn't even bring the camera out to film it. We ate it, we scarfed it, because now we're late to seeing Hamilton, so. I just thought I would tell you about it. It was delicious, and the restaurant was um, extremely apologetic, <clears throat> and it brought us something that I could eat, so um, it was very nice, but now we have to run to Hamilton. So right. we are making it with just like 30 minutes to spare. It's... All right, we're home. Day 28 is over. Um, Hamilton was so fun, so good. The choreography was amazing. I really enjoyed it. Enjoyed? I really enjoyed it. Um, dinner tonight was interesting. So we were under the impersonation, impersonation? We were under the impression that we could not have canola oil. Looked it up after they had decided to make a second steak for us. And we saw that canola oil is something that you can have, but it's not recommended. So um, we took the steak cooked with canola oil 
and brought it home to put it in the fridge since we're on day 28. Um, and they made us a new steak with uh, boiled green beans. So, sorry, my camera's moving so much. Um, it was really good. It was funny because with the first steak, the one that was cooked with canola oil, Ryan and I both took a bite and looked at each other and was like, this is a really good steak. So I don't know if the canola oil made a difference in the softness or the way that it was cooked, but um, I mean, they both were fantastic, but for some reason we thought that first one was just the bee's knees. But yeah, Hamilton was amazing. If you haven't seen it, try and get a ticket for one of the tours. It's fantastic. And other than that, tomorrow is going to be another day down in Anaheim. Really hoping I have enough energy to get me through the day. I don't really have anything planned for lunch. And I'm not even sure I have anything in the fridge I can use for lunch. So that's going to be interesting to figure out tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. when I get ready to leave the house. Cool. I'm going to go to bed because it's midnight. So good night, you guys. Sweet dreams.